Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how hot and loud the MSI Raider 16 gets. We know these can either make it or break it in terms of a great gaming laptop. So how does the Raider 16 fare? The model I have here is equipped with the RTX 4070, but this model can be specced all the way up to an RTX 4090. Does this thick boy have the chops to be able to tame an RTX 4090? Let's take a look at the fan noise levels and surface temps before we try and answer this question. And as a bonus, stay till the end to see the power levels on the RTX 4070 in the Raider 16 for 2024, a question I'm sure many of you had on your minds. Before we begin though, please click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when there's new content available here. Let's jump right in. We'll begin first with a look at the, the fan noise from this laptop, the MSI Raider 16 for 2024. The methodology that was adopted here for testing was using the firmware benchmark in the background, running for quite a while in order to soak heat into the laptop before running these tests. And as you can see here, the different decibel levels from silent mode to balanced mode, we're jumping up to around 47 to 48 decibels in balanced mode. And then as we switch over, we'll see that, you know, in extreme performance mode, the fan speed really kicks up and so does that noise level. So we're going to see here about 50 decibels, 50 to 51 decibels in the extreme performance mode with auto fans. If you go over into the performance mode and do the configuration to cooler boost, cooler boost mode, this is the fans blazing as, as fast as they can go in this laptop. You're going to get about 58 decibels of noise here. That is a lot of noise. It is definitely audible, but the MSI Raider keeps things nice and cool here. No issues in terms of heat dissipation. And the MSI AI engine brings that down, back down to around 48 decibels with, of course, a slight reduction in power levels and tuning to keep everything nicely in check. We'll start with a look at the surface temperatures across the device in the silent mode. This mode, of course, here throttles down the CPU and the GPU to keep everything nice and quiet and try to keep the fans as close to inoperable so that we're going to get very little uh, fan noise. But as a result, you're also going to see the temperatures be a little bit higher generally in some of the other modes. But as we can see here that we're not actually crossing the 41 degrees mark on max. So nice, nice and cool across the keyboard deck where you'll be placing your hands. No issue gaming or using for extensive periods of time whatsoever. Continuing into the surface temperatures on the balance mode, we're going to start to see here the temperatures rise slightly, slightly a little bit because we are putting additional heat into the laptop. However, because the thermal cooling system on this laptop is quite well equipped and this laptop can handle up to an RTX 4090, we're going to see again that we're not actually going f much farther beyond what we saw with the silent mode in terms of the surface temperatures. Very nice and very comfortable for extended use. Things aren't that much different as we moved into the extreme performance mode. This one here is with the auto fans engaged. We're not actually tweaking the fans or customizing any of the fan curves here, but you'll see here that it's a very similar story across all of these uh, different modes here, regardless of what uh, mode you're running in. The surface temperatures are around 40 to 40 three or 44 degrees. I've never seen them exceed that, which is quite comfortable for extended periods of time and gaming for long sessions. Not much of a change here as we are in extreme performance mode, but we start to engage the cooler boost mode. This will start to push the fans to their maximum, giving us about 58 decibels of noise on this device. But we can see here the temperature is nice and cool, and the max temperature we saw here was about 43.2 degrees.
and in our final mode here msi ai engine so this is where the system tweaks what it's going to do with the fans and the temperatures and the power levels to give us a nice and enjoyable experience highly optimized using artificial intelligence we're still going to see only about 42 decibels at the max here very very comfortable and and per com perfectly usable for extended gaming sessions And as promised here, we're going to be looking at the bonus here. This is the power levels on the RTX 4070 in the MSI Raider 16 GE68 for 2024. As we may remember from the last year, 2023, when the RTX 4000 GPUs launched at CES, where there was a little bit of an issue when we were started testing. We saw only about 100 watts of performance during gaming out of the RTX 4070, despite the advertised figures of 140 watts. Most of our testers were only able to replicate the 140 watts uh, in Firmark benchmarks. That's a different story now with the updated drivers. We're now seeing much higher peak usage in games as we're demonstrating here. This is Borderlands 3 running at the native 2560 by 1600 resolution. As then, and as you can see here, we're staying nice and cool. This test was done in the extreme performance mode. That means you have cooler boost on and the fans are blaring at full blast. That's about 58 decibels of noise, 74 degrees on the GPU. We're getting about 130 watts uh, roughly uh, as we go through the game benchmark here. A fantastic showing for the RTX 47 is bringing it much closer to the base level performance of the RTX 40 at about 150 watts. Once you add the 25 watt dynamic boost, however, the RTX 4080 is still in a league of its own with a difference of nearly... Uh, 35 watts we're going to definitely see some performance there but of course it is diminishing returns and you'll have to be the the uh, the judge there as to deciding which gpu is sufficient for your gaming needs the rtx 4080 is also quite a pricier uh, entry into the game laptop or gaming laptop market so you be the judge but i think this is overall very impressive nonetheless all right, what a great showing. We've just seen that the MSI Raider 16 is one cool customer that can keep that heat in check. Considering that this chassis is designed to support up to the RTX 4090, this should be no surprise. Also, a noise level in the 40s to low 50 decibels is quite within the range for gaming laptops at the higher performance levels. The surface temperatures also remained in check and never exceeded the low 40s, remaining comfortable for long work and extended gaming sessions. And as a bonus, we saw that the power level situation, despite the one volt limit still being present, has been greatly improved. We're finally seeing more than 100 watts of power usage by the RTX 4070 in games. This closes the gap between the RTX 4070 and the RTX 4080, making it yet even a harder decision for you and your wallet. <laughs> In my opinion, and from what I've seen, this means that the value proposition for the RTX 4070 has certainly increased. The Raider 16 wins even with this level of GPU, and I would wholeheartedly recommend it to someone who's somewhat of a budget-conscious buyer. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like this content, please click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when there's new content available here. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.